Hey guys, welcome back to Zamora Models. This is Nick, as usual. And we're going to be resuming our How to Build Your Vintage Dairy Queen kit from Walters. This video is going to emphasize on the roof and include a lot of detailing for the roof. As you can see, I've got the workstation set up here with a lot of fun stuff to play around with today. What I'm going to be using for the roof tool-wise is a nice handy pin vise. Uh, this one's preloaded with the number 80 bit as well as uh, sorted bit holders. We'll be using at least two sizes of bits for this. This is a new tool for me. A little pair of scissors. Uh, no handholds on it. They're just uh, squeezed together type. I'm going to be using that for the first time today. Also got some nippers. Flat file. Scale ruler. Some thick CA as well as the Insta set. Tester doll coat. A little paint tray. And that wraps it up for about the tools. A uh, couple few other things that I have with me are a box half for the weathering powders to fall into as well as a, a surface that I use for a spring which I'll use for the doll coat. So the air conditioner I use spray paint on but for the other rooftop details that would be in metal I'm going to use a metallic silver sharpie hoping that might give some contrast between the two a little bit of separation of different types of metal. I'm also going to be using just some black acrylic paint got uh, two paint brushes and I've also got four different colors uh, from left to right on the back there we have our uh, medium earth grimy black light rust and chalky white and all four of those are from aim products and our paint pigment weathering powders I'll also be using some of this uh, point tin brass wire. Uh, this is a four count from KNS Precision Metals, uh, number fifty eighty six five zero eight six. And I'll also be using uh, Builders and Scales Red H O Scale tar or rolled tar paper for the roof. All right, so. I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, sign off here. I'm not going to be using that. I'll also take the air conditioner off. We'll just set those back there in the back for now. I'll pop the roof off. Give you a quick little look at the inside. And again, we're not done detailing the inside there yet. I just have the parts staged there. This time we're going to focus just on the roof. Red trim all the way around it. Nothing too fancy with the roof itself. Again that was done with spray paint and then we'll be doing the tar paper on the top here. Uh, let's see where do I want to start here. You know, we're going to go ahead and start with the rolled tar paper. So again this tar paper is from AIM, or not AIM, it's from Builders and Scale. It's With rolled tar paper, 
I'm going to do this building as if the back of the building, which has the lip on it, is lower than the front of the building, which has the rim all the way around it. So I'm going to start from the back, and then I'll do a little bit of overlap working our way up. And as we get to the holes, I will use my drill bit to get the holes to clear up so we can still put our roof details on there. Now this is just a, a pill and stick, so I'm just going to cut it out to size. The first one I'm going to cut the whole length of the roof. Grab our scale ruler here just so I have a actual scale size. Put it up on the edge here. And scale across. Looks like we're at 24 feet. Give or take a little. Might have to trim some of that off. Just shy of 24 feet. Uh, it's 23 and 3, three quarters of a foot scale feet. So that's what I'll cut this out to. Now on this video, you're going to see a lot of fast forwarding on on this. I'll probably set the first one for you guys and then do a fast forward feature on the rest of it. Verify my measurement here. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So. Using a pair of scissors like this makes it a little easier not having to worry about keeping your uh, cut lines straight with a hobby knife. Now this first piece I'm doing the entire width of the roof. I've got to cut that down a little. Just a little bit long with it. That's alright though. Um, the next pieces I will have a little bit of uh, pieces from other ends as they would do in the actual buildings to reduce the waste. I'm just going to snip a smidge bit of the end off here. And, and now I get to remeasure because I cut that way too short. Let me see what I got on this one. That's a nice little feature. You don't even have to cut the, uh, the side. You can just fold it over. 
and it just breaks right off. Test fit our length there. That's a nice test fit there, so we're going to go ahead and stick that one down. Again, it's got a self adhesive tape on the back side. You just separate it, expose the back black, put the black side down. We're going to spend a little bit more time on this first piece here, make sure that we get it squared. And also to line up right with the edge. And I didn't go completely straight with that. Let me see if I can't get it to pop back up. I'm going to have pressed it down. With this rolled tar paper, you don't have to worry too much about the edge. Uh, if you rough up the edge, it'll help with the uh, weathering of the roof. And I just ruined that piece. I'm going to start this one over. I'll fast forward the rest of it. But if you rough up the corner, it's just going to make it a little bit weathered, worn out. Alright guys, so here's the finished result. And I've also, while the camera's off, drilled the holes for all the roof details. And I also put a small little hole right back over here for our air conditioner pipe. And to get the holes drilled out, what I did is I put my thumb over where the hole was and drilled the hole from the other side just to get a small pilot hole in there. And then I cleaned out the rest going from this side down. I also tried to make it seem realistic by having uh, some of the sheets cut halfway through or partial way through the uh, roofing there. And the end piece is actually cut in half so it will fit up in there. 
So overall, I'm pretty happy with how that looks, but it's on the roof and it would get sunbeat. So let's add a little bit of weathering to that. I'm going to put a little box down here, that way we don't get the weathering powders everywhere. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a brush here, have some play with it there. We'll start with the a chalky white. I'm just going to go through these colors. Uh, again, I got chalky white, light rust, grimy black, and medium earth. Okay guys, so the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut out the other two roof details that are included with this kit, which are your roof vents. You actually get three of them, but the kit only has holes for two. Snip those out real quick. I'm going to use a Sharpie, that metallic silver Sharpie, to paint these up with. That way you guys can see the difference between the two different colors and using different mediums. One final step that I do to this is I dull coat it, but I'm going to do that when I'm all done.
we'll give you guys a close up look here may be a little hard to see but there is a slight tone difference between the two pieces there the uh, roof vents are a little bit more silver and deeper of a tone compared to the air conditioner is more brighter and what I'm going to do with those air conditioner, air conditioner vents or I'm going to do with the roof vents not the air conditioner roof vents I'm going to give them a little dusting of dull, of a dull coat as well as the air conditioner I'm going to give them a little dusting both a little dusting of uh, light rust Somewhere along the way I lost one of my vents, so I'm going to have to find that or redo it, but I'll do that later. And I'm just going to stick this first little vent on there. Well, something else that I've done with the number 80 drill bit, not really going to be able to see underneath here, but I drilled a hole on the bottom of the control box where that pipe that we filed off was that used to be molded on. And I've also drilled a small little hole right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this .10 diameter brass wire. I'm going to make a actual pipe that comes off of it and runs down the rooftop this isn't going to be nothing too fancy I'm just going to use a uh, my ruler or something to bend the wire with and uh, see it into place and use the sharpie to paint it silver alright guys so here's the finished results of our roof and our roof details and I've also repeated the same process for the concrete if you remember from our first video in the series we scored some lines into the concrete and with the dusting of dull coat and weather pastels or weathering pigment paints we now have some very nice fracture lines in our concrete I didn't weather the sign probably should have but I think it'll do fine nonetheless give you the other side here And here's a view of the pipe that we made. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you like this building so far, make sure that if you haven't already, that you hit the subscribe and like button and turn on the notifications down below so you can get the next segment of this video when it comes out. See you guys next time.